Hi, my name is Arthur Johnson, and on June 9th, 10th, and 11th marks the dates of the annual Arthur Johnson Boxing Invitation. The St. Louis metropolitan area has produced some of the world's greatest boxers. For starters, fighters like Henry Armstrong, Sonny Liston, Michael, and Leon Spinks, just to name a few. More current guys like Corey Spinks, Divine Alexander, and Lewis Truly. But more importantly, some of the greatest amateurs to ever make sort of pair of gloves comes from this region, and their names are endless. Join us at the Jackie Joyner Kersey Center as boxers from around the country compete for this year's Boxing Invitational Championship. And what they all have in common is they all want to be champions. Lock it in your calendar. Don't forget the dates. Hi, I'm Arthur Johnson. Don't forget the Arthur Johnson Boxing Invitational on June 9th, 10th, and 11th at the Jack and Jonah Kersey Center, where boxers from around the country will come in to display their talent. You get to see the champions before they become champions. Box Midwest will cover the finals. Are you going to the fight, sweetie? Are you going to the fight? Yes, honey, I'll be there. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Hi, I'm LaTanya. And I'm Arthur Johnson. And we're the founders and co-founders of the Arthur Johnson Foundation, which caters toward at-risk youth within the East St. Louis community and surrounding areas. Currently right now, our building is under renovation, which will house the Flash Boxing Gym, after school programming, and mentorship. For more information, please log on to ArthurJohnsonFoundation.org. And remember, hit the Donate Now button. And thank you for making the dreams of our youth a reality. Welcome back, everybody, and uh, welcome to the fabulous Jackie John Kersey Center. Uh, the champ, Arthur Johnson, is with me. Champ, that was a great, great piece talking about this weekend. Oh, it's an awesome time to look forward to. We're excited about it. Uh, this is a real, uh, a very, very competitive type tournament. This is the kind of tournament that, um, for the most part, looking forward, the Olympic-style boxing. Uh, these guys will be buying for the 2020 Games. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be outstanding action. So what is, talk about some of the teams. I understand uh, that you got teams coming in, boxing teams coming on from all across the United States. Talk about some of the venues that they're be fighting out of. Well, sure. Um, uh, we've got Indianapolis going to be coming in. Uh, they're close by team. We've got Chicago. Uh, Chicago's going to be uh, coming in. We, we talked uh, uh, during uh, this time period about Florida and, and uh, uh, many others uh, that are going to be here. And so we're excited because the different styles, uh, the different, if you will, uh, genres of boxing, mm -hmm. uh, you'll get a chance to see that displayed. And uh, you're going to see a flat out uh, athletic showcase of the best boxers in the country. Uh, Flash, Arthur Flash Johnson talking to us, Arthur Johnson Foundation, his big extravaganza weekend right here at the Jackie Joyner Kersey Center, starting tonight, Thursday, Friday night, Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night championship box. In the background, you see the men at work putting together the ring. Flash, you have always had a vision to bring boxing, uh, following the, the great Pop Miles and others, um, in bringing boxing to East St. Louis. Let's talk about that. Your dreams are coming to, to fruition. It's awesome to see that happen. Uh, as you pointed out, it's always been a dream. It's always been a vision uh, to have that happen. And so uh, watching it come to pass, watching it come to fruition is an awesome thing. Uh, I'm excited about uh, sitting back uh, and enjoying the bouts and the competition just as the fans will. And uh, just in case uh, they don't know, if I haven't mentioned, uh, Olympic style boxing, these are the same guys you're going to see years from here on HBO, uh, Showtime. These are the guys that you're going to see. And why not see them here? And so that's always been a vision to set a platform. But more than that, 
I have a team from East St. Louis in the Washington Park area, so, because, so the, when you hear uh, the name uh, um, East St. Louis Washington Park, that will be the team that represents this area. They will be competing here. We have three kids that's going to be competing here. One has already ha have a bye to the championship. The other two have to fight their way to the championship. So these guys are fighting for titles, and that makes a huge difference because uh, the runner-up will go home with the medal, and nobody wants to go home with the medal. They go <laughs> want to go home with the title. And so watching this come to pass, um, watching this uh, come to fruition is uh, is an awesome thing. It's been a lot of uh, tedious work. I got to thank my wife, Latanya, uh, Latanya, for really the administrative aspect of this, putting it all together in a legal form, uh, a lot of hard work, a, a, a lot uh, that she had to do and a short amount of time to really bring this thing uh, to, to, to pass. So uh, I'm excited, man, about uh, what the crowd is going to see. And uh, what they're going to see is something that they haven't seen before, um, world-class boxing at a high level. People, you want to get out and support this fantastic foundation and the great boxers that's going to come to town. You talk about Olympic-style boxing, and a lot of people, and I'm not trying to uh, discredit the audience out there who's watching, mm -hmm. but when you talk about boxing and you really haven't been around the game, you talk about the things that have to be done behind the scenes, yes, yes. the legal paperwork, yes. um, um, having everything certified, mm -hmm. the weigh-ins, right. all the other things. Can you educate Educate our audience about those things, please. Well, well absolutely. Um, uh, one of the things that any fighter has to do if, if he wants to be successful is to be disciplined. And that discipline requires him uh, to watch his weight, um, to pay attention to the things that he intakes in his body, uh, to pay attention uh, to the things that uh, his surroundings, his environments, uh, all those sort of things makes a complete fighter. Uh, you. you um, you have this talent, you have this skill set that uh, God has given you. That's what I say to a lot of these kids. And, and so you cannot take that for granted. And when you uh, disrespect that, if you don't treat your body right, it's not going to treat you right. So uh, we're, we're going to, they'll see the weigh-ins. The weigh-ins will happen from 8 to 10. So if they'd like to see a weigh-in, if they've never seen a weigh-in, they'll get a chance to see that. Uh, that'll happen, again, 8 to 10 each day. So it's, it's an exciting time, man. And I got to tell you that, um, hey, I am totally, totally uh, on high on what, uh, what, what everyone's going to witness here. You talk about the weigh-ins. I remember once uh, one of uh, Corey Spinks' last fights. Uh, I was his driver, and we'll talk about the great Don King later. But he had a, he weighed in at one weight, and you probably remember this that night. And uh, he weighed in, and Mr. Scott, I want you to go take me and get me a steak. I want a steak right now. <laughs> and remember that night, he was kind of sluggish and got beat. Right. And people and young boxers, they really have to watch that thing. And I don't think yeah. some of our audience really know about those things. Well, listen, they, they, you've got to pay attention to your body. Sometimes uh, uh, boxers uh, compete in a weight in which they really shouldn't. They starve themselves to make that weight. I know all too well about that. They starve themselves to make that weight. And when they get to that weight, and then when they have a bite to eat, all of a sudden everything blows up. Uh, that's because, Overnight sometimes. Exactly, exactly. Everything blows up when they when they have a bite to eat. And uh, that's just because uh, they have done it for so long and uh, their body uh, can no longer really sustain that type of, of, of workmanship in terms of uh, keeping the weight down. So I really recommend that a, a kid uh, boxes at a weight that is very uh, comfortable for him, mm -hmm. that he doesn't have a hard time making uh, the weight uh, when it's time to make the weight. Because uh, here at this tournament, you know, you're going to have to weigh in every day that you compete. Wow. And so uh, just because they made the weight, uh, today, and I always tell the kids, hey, don't lose the fight to the scale. Don't right. lose the fight. And that's that's one of the worst uh, ways to be defeated is by not being disciplined enough uh, to uh, um, make sure you, that your weight is under control. One other thing, and uh, the people, we really want you to come out and support this. Can you tell the people how much tickets, prices are, uh, what's the purpose of this great event? I know we're showcasing Olympic-style boxing here at East St. Louis and St. Clair County, but there is a purpose behind the madness. Oh, absolutely. The reason for this particular tournament is uh, in lieu of the, uh, the, the foundation, the uh, building that we're now renovating on uh, 1721 State Street. Uh, that's our center, uh, which we're going to be able to encompass uh, other programs such as uh, uh, mentoring, life skills, um, 
all of the such after school programming. And so we're excited about what uh, this tournament is going to enable us to do. Uh, it's going to enable us to be able to uh, generate some, some funds, hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to continue to run our programs. And that's what we're hoping to do. Um, and so we're, we're excited about this. So we, we really want the folks to come out and, uh, and, and really, uh, really share in and, and helping uh, to create this environment, uh, which we're trying to create, uh, another uh, another um, uh, avenue as opposed to uh, the drugs and gangs and violence. And so the tickets are only 10 bucks. And so we're, uh, you know, there's not a lot of places that you can go to and enjoy an action for 10 bucks. Uh, so it's, it's 10 bucks a night, uh, but if you if you come all three nights, if you want to get the pass, it's just 27 bucks. So uh, it's it's a, it's an event that that's well worth 10 bucks. You're right. Uh, so it's it's going to be telecast. Of course, you you'll be sitting with me, and we'll be talking. Yes. Uh, we'll be doing it for Fox Midwest, uh, and uh, on Saturday that will be the championship fight, and also it will be streamed live. Wow. So it'll be streamed live on Saturday. So if you're not here, you can't make it. Uh, you can stream it for just five bucks. You're going to go to the Arthur Johnson Foundation org, and the big old red sign of uh, the link is right there and you can stream it live. So um, there's a lot of ways in which you can support us. And we hope that uh, that uh, that you are able to do that. And uh, we thank you in advance uh, for your contribution. Before we go and a couple more things I want to talk to you about, I would be remiss to talk about two things. One, the passing of the great Muhammad Ali. Tell me a great Muhammad Ali story that you know. <laughs> you know, Muhammad Ali had a lot of great stories and we uh, we did a lot of joking because uh, a lot, what a lot of people don't know is that I was in that camp, uh, the Ali camp with Angelo Dundee. And, right. and so Angelo Dundee managed uh, Muhammad Ali as well as myself. Uh, Ali was the uh, the biggest name, uh, the, the first biggest name that he had, and then I was the last biggest name that he had. Um, and so looking back at that, uh, I was sharing with my wife, man, it really felt like a family member. And that's because it really was a family member, the family of boxing that we were in with, with Angelo Dundee, of course, George Foreman later on became a member of that. Mm -hmm. Michael Nunn, a bunch of others uh, became a member of that crew. And, um, and the last time I saw Ali was at uh, Angelo's funeral, and uh, I said to my wife later on, I said, "You know, he's fading, and uh, you could you could just you could you could sense that." Uh, what can I say? What can you say about him? He was the greatest. Um, he uh, he was a great seducer. You know, he was a great seducer. And my, there's my phone. That's he okay. was he was a he was a great seducer, and um, once uh, he, he got your attention, he had you. Right, right. He got your attention. He had you, and so it's a great, it's a, it's a great loss. Um, of course, uh, he transcended uh, the sports world. He transcended it, not just boxing, but the sports world in general. There was never another one like him, and, and perhaps there were, there'll never be. Another. And of course, you were trained by the great Angelo Dun Dundee that you just mentioned, and promoted by the great Don King. Don and I, uh, um, man, I've had some right, right, good right. stories with Don, but right. uh, talk about Don a little bit. Don King, um, listen, he, another one who transcended the times. Um, uh, I can't think of another one that was like him um, ever before uh, because you, you really had the, uh, the idea of thinking that is Don King going to be fighting? Because he definitely sounded like he would That's be fighting. Right. That's <laughs> so right. That's right. so That's right. what a great businessman, That's what a right. great entrepreneur in all respect of boxing. And what he did for the game is uh, something that uh, uh, really is uh, uh, you can – what can you say about uh, the things that he added uh, in his Drill in Manila. Oh, my goodness. Like I mean, when you think about that, you think about big fights like that. I mean, uh, places that uh, uh, boxing uh, folks never thought boxing would be. He took it there. That's right. And so, um, man, hats off to him, man. Also, One thing I could say about that I learned from Don, and you hit it on the head, champ. Uh, a lot of people saw the diamonds and the hair, and that was basically show. When Don took off his diamonds and put on his robe and was relaxing in the hotel atmosphere or in his room or his suite, mm -hmm. you've been there many times. He was one of the smartest businessmen yeah. that I ever met. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, again, his entrepreneurship, uh, his business savvy, his experience, um, him knowing the, 
uh, key things or maybe even key phrases to get a crowd, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, excited about an anticipated fight. Uh, he uh, he was all of that, man. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, as, as I look at this, uh, this game is taking on another form. You know, the uh, older guys are, are leaving the scene, right. and newer guys such as myself uh, are coming. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is not let those guys down. That's right. And we want to um, take it to another level. And if, if it's possible, can we go a, another level higher? I, I think if you give yourself to something uh, ho uh, really woolly to that thing, I, I think um, uh, the sky's the limit. Is this your introduction to promoting, perhaps? I know you're training. <laughs> yeah, sure. You got your right hand man. Every Batman right. needs a right wiping, your lovely wife. Right. Is this your coming out party promoting uh, champ it, it it could be it could very well be it okay. could very well be um there, there are kids that need opportunities mm -hmm. and what my wife and i talk about a lot is is giving uh, a well-deserved uh kid an opportunity mm -hmm. uh, that probably wouldn't normally get that opportunity mm -hmm. and so um this is uh, that type of an event uh we'll look to make it bigger next year uh, Fox Midwest working with us this year and hopefully they'll work with us again next year but we're looking to go further than that so uh, we're looking to uh, really put a spotlight uh, on this area uh, where this foundation is um, this is a place where a lot of champions come from a lot of champions right. the and, city of champions and, man my goodness and I think it's 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 worthy uh, of having a, an event such as this here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited. Again, I'm excited and my wife's excited, of course. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're happy to have you to be a part of this and others to be a part of this because it takes a community really, man, to really, uh, you know, raise the next generation. In closing, anybody you want to thank, any sponsors, anybody that you want to thank uh, publicly because we're not just going to keep this for East St. Louis. We want to be able to send this out uh, to all of the sponsors and stuff. So this is your opportunity to thank them. And we're going to thank them all weekend. But Awesome. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Can I bring my wife in here? Absolutely. Hey, Come on in there, cause I, I mean, I'm, we, we got a we got a gang. She oh she she don't she, she doesn't like. She said no way, I'm not doing it. Well, I, we gotta get her on Fox this weekend. Exactly. We we'll get on Fox. We got we got Pepsi. We got Digitars. We got um, Home Depot. We've got um, Eagle Distribution. Oh my goodness, we got everybody. Uh, a lot. Um, Mayor Ann Rogers, right. who, city have supported, of Park. who have who have supported the city manager in East St. Louis, have supported. Uh, there's a Courtney gang, Logan. Courtney Logan, yes. So there's 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 a lot. There's a gang of sponsors. If I start to name them, now, now you put right. me on spot. I start to name them. I can't I can't remember. You know, right. there's a lot of them. The Jackie Joyner and, Kersey Foundation. Jackie Joyner <laughs> Kersey Foundation. We're here. Jackie Joyner right. Kersey. We're here in her place, and we and I can't think to remember. Hey, thank you, Jackie. We really appreciate you. Yes, you and Michael Greenfield. Uh, Michael Greenfield being a really, really, yes, really man. nice guy, and who who's has a worked. former All American uh, wrestler himself. Exactly. And who, who's worked with us tirelessly and says, hey. He wants to see pro boxing come here. And so uh, he really encouraged me to really make this bigger um, for this year. So uh, I, I'm really, you know, uh, thankful for those guys. Man. I'm really thankful for every every sponsor. And I'm, I know there's some that I'm missing already, but we're, we're going to have a, uh, a sponsorship uh, little booklet. And so all of their names will be in it. It'll be something that everyone can see. Our sponsors, we're proud of them, uh, proud of our sponsors. That's the champ. Arthur Flash Johnson, we're live here at the Jackie John and Kirstie Center. This is the place, East St. Louis, you want to come out in the metries. You want to come out right here, the Jackie John and Kirstie Center, 101 Jackie John and Kirstie Way, right here in the City of Champions, East St. Louis, Illinois. Thursday night, beginning at what time? 7 o'clock. All right, Thursday night, Friday night at 7 o'clock, and all day Saturday, right? Saturday, and then that's when Fox comes in. That's when all the taping happens. That's when the lights glitter. That's when, oh, I can't tell you everything that's going to happen, but they've never seen nothing like this. It's great. They've never seen nothing like this come Saturday. Saturday's going to be the, real, the really big night, and we're hoping to hopefully have a full house. Well, Duncan, if you can pan right here, if you see the Rokers here at the Jackie Joyner Kersey Foundation, they're getting the ring together. You're going to see red, a red corner. You're going to see a blue corner. Champ, come on over here. I got one more thing. Sure. I used to be on Don King's staff, and I'm finna steal some of his <laughs> stuff. If you can't be on the scene, you get it on the screen. ArthurJohnsonFoundation.org. Click on the red button, baby, and you can stream us live all weekend long right here at the Jackie Joyner Kersey Center. So if you can't be on the scene, 
Get it on the screen, baby. That's right. $10 East St. Louis. Come on out. Support a great cause. It's the champ. He loves the city of East St. Louis, and we're going to have a show chivalrous time here in the Jackie Joyner Curtis Center. Boy, I'm using all that stuff tonight, huh? All right. Talk to you later, champ. We will be here this weekend. We want to see you in the place. Come on out and jump us. For Lawrence Duncan, for the champ, Arthur Flash Johnson, his lovely wife. And the Arthur Johnson Foundation, I'm Maurice. This is the Arthur Johnson Foundation Television Network Preview. Thank you. Hi, my name is Arthur Johnson. And on June 9th, 10th, and 11th, marks the dates of the annual Arthur Johnson Boxing Invitation. The St. Louis metropolitan area has produced some of the world's greatest boxers. For starters, fighters like Henry Armstrong, Sonny Liston, Michael, and Leon Spinks, just to name a few. More current guys like Corey Spinks, Divine Alexander, and Lewis Truly. But more importantly, some of the greatest amateurs to ever make sort of pair of gloves comes from this region, and their names are endless. Join us at the Jackie Joyner Kersey Center as boxers from around the country compete for this year's Boxing Invitational Championship. And what they all have in common is they all want to be champions. Lock it in your calendar. Don't forget the date. Hi, I'm Arthur Johnson. Don't forget the Arthur Johnson Boxing Invitational on June 9th, 10th, and 11th at the Jack and Jonah Kersey Center, where boxers from around the country will come in to display their talent. You get to see the champions before they become champions. Box Midwest will cover the finals. Are you going to the fight, sweetie? Are you going to the fight? Yes, honey. I'll be there. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Hi, I'm LaTanya. And I'm Arthur Johnson. And we're the founders and co-founders of the Arthur Johnson Foundation, which caters toward at-risk youth within the East St. Louis community and surrounding areas. Currently right now, our building is under renovation, which will house the Flash Boxing Gym, after school programming, and mentorship. For more information, please log on to ArthurJohnsonFoundation.org. And remember, hit the Donate Now button. And thank you for making the dreams of our youth a reality.